Along the subjects of quarterback, let's head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. This one about the quarterback position with the Browns. Uh, what would it take to get um, um, the Seattle quarterback? Uh, what would uh, what would because I, I you know when we uh, I was for Sam Darnold back in the day when we were looking at the first you know pick of the draft, and then Baker seemed to be so smart. And you know he he you know he got up on the chalkboard and he, and he seemed to, I thought he was the next coming of Bernie Kosar who was really really good at reading defenses and of course he I I don't think he is he he seems to hold on to the ball too long uh, he thro- he doesn't throw people open as they say you know he he will throw and he and his throws are always it seems like a lot of times just a little bit behind, you know? They're like six inches behind the, the receiver's body as he's crossing or whatever. And, and not that he didn't throw well against Cincinnati, but, uh, you know. Um, so, uh, Russell Wilson, uh, I, what would it take to get him? Anyway, thanks. Bye-bye. All right, we appreciate uh, the call. And, and the question would be if, if Russell Wilson is interested um it would probably be three first-round picks, dependent if, if if Pete Carroll and the Seahawks think a lot of Baker Mayfield, you might be able to get it for Baker and two. But it, it's going to cost a lot to get a quarterback like Russell Wilson. Yeah, I, I just don't see it. I mean, because, first of all, Seattle's going to do everything it can to keep him. Secondly, if he does say, I'm out of here, then there's going to be at least, uh, I don't know, eight, nine, ten suitors. Uh, so it's not just the Browns. I mean, we, we here in Cleveland, if we're getting restless about the quarterbacks, sit there and go, oh, yeah, Russell Wilson. Well, so do other teams, okay? <laughs> For example, you don't think that uh, a team like Denver would salivate at the prospect uh, of, uh, you know, of Russell Wilson? I know they got Teddy Two Gloves, but come on. I mean, Wilson's such an upgrade there. And there are other teams who, who feel like, you know what, we could separate if we added a Wilson. So – I don't see Russell Wilson. I certainly don't see Aaron Rodgers for basically the same reasons. The Packers will do everything in their power to keep him there for life. And even if he does leave, I, I don't see it realistically coming to Cleveland. I think they've, they've got to, you know, Baker's got to figure it out for, for this team to go anywhere, at least this year and next year, because we know he's he signed up at least through uh, year five. Uh, but I want to go back to one quick thing, Dave, that we said in the previous segment. You know, you look at this season and you say, well, he played really well against the Chiefs, played really well against the Chargers. The Browns lost high-scoring games late. How is that Baker's fault? Uh, not necessarily his fault, but at the end of the game, even with those high-scoring situations, they needed Mayfield in another drive, in yet another drive, to deliver, and he wasn't able to do it. Uh, so... It's not just because he is struggling in a, in a particular game. He might be playing well for three and a half quarters, but you need the, the extra half quarter. You need that final half quarter for him to continue to play well, and he hasn't quite delivered. And one other thing, I charted every one of his throws in his rookie year of 2018. I'm telling you, and you remember it, Dave, he was magical with the ball it was ridiculous how many good throws baker mayfield made in 2018 and i'm not saying that you (laughs) you you want this guy to go back to his glory days of his rookie year and i understand that the competition was suspect but down the stretch for the bake show in 2018 the quality of passes he was making was insane and i wish we could see that again 